Well, this one's the usual is bad for home micro manufacturers. Prism, makers of the Ren Micro and the largest distributors of Sinclair machines, went into receivership, followed by Oric, who now have three companies interested in buying them up. And of course, this week saw some bad news for Acorn, the company who make the BBC Micro. Two days ago, the company laid off some 30 staff and asked for its shares to be suspended after they'd fallen to an all of 28p, so that the company could have a chance to reorganise its affairs. The shares were put on the market two years ago at £1.40 and rose to £1.96 at the height of the micro boom when the whole industry was extremely optimistic. So somebody made a lot of money and it looks like somebody's going to lose a lot of money. Today, the BBC issued the following statement. The BBC understands the concern of the many people who own BBC machines and are talking to Acorn about this at the present time. The BBC understands that in any reorganisation, Acorn will of course take care of the interests of existing and future BBC micro owners. Three things happens to Acorn. First, the news that it was virtually abandoning the American side of its business led to a loss of money and confidence. Then, along with other companies, Acorn predicted a large Christmas sale, but in the event, sales were disappointing and dealers left with heavy stocks. Although the BBC machine still holds over 75% of the upper end of the home micro market, Acorn's down market machine, the Electric, has had to fight the most cutthroat competition and has fared badly. As a company, it's devoted large resources to developing a very wide range of products and selling them overseas. Although it's been in trouble in the States, it's been successful in selling BBC machines to many Commonwealth and European countries like Australia and Holland. But the press seemed to have had it in for Acorn, and this volatile industry press comment can have a disproportionate effect. Yesterday, Acorn was refusing to speak to the press, but MicroLive was able to see that the work was going on unabated on more new products for the BBC Micro system. Well, we'll be watching developments, and next month we hope to bring you better news about the company's fortunes.